Hey guys, welcome back to All in Law. This is a quick internal medicine or a pediatrics. And today I'm gonna ask you or test your preparation for USMLE or any other medical board examination that how much you know about Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. I'm not gonna go in detail, rather I would like to give you the clinical features and you have to tell me whether it's a common in Crohn's disease or okay, Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. Let me write CD and UC, right? So let me ask you, and you have to tell me, okay? Rectal bleeding, guys. Rectal bleeding. Tell me whether it's common in Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. It's common in ulcerative colitis. Remember, if the patient presents with rectal bleeding, then think of what you call uh, ulcerative colitis. Okay? Similarly, we have diarrhea. Okay, diarrhea is very common in ulcerative colitis and it's variable in what you call uh, uh, Crohn's disease. Okay, and then we have what you call perianal disease. Perianal disease. Perianal disease. Perianal disease. And it's very common in Crohn's disease. Okay, and it's not common in what you call ulcerative colitis. Let's talk about the fissures. Very important. These are really very important, guys, for USMLE or any other medical board examination. Fissures are common where? It's in Crohn's disease. Remember, guys, very important. Okay? And it's not common over here. Whereas fistulas, tell me, fistulas are common in ulcerative colitis. They are not common in what you call ulcerative colitis. Uh, sorry. They are common in Crohn's disease, not in ulcerative colitis, okay? Fistulas are common in Crohn's disease, not ulcerative colitis, okay? Toxic megacolon, toxic megacolon, where do you see? Of course, you are right, ulcerative colitis, right? Yes, you don't see in Crohn's disease. Then we have mouth ulceration. Mouth ulceration, where do you see? In Crohn's disease, yes, of course, and it's very rare in ulcerative colitis. Skip lesions, where do you see? That's why. Skip lesions, where do you see? Of course, it's in a Crohn's disease, not in what you call uh, ulcerative colitis, right? If I ask you transmural involvement, where do you see? It's in transmural involvement is in Crohn's disease. That's why you see. Fissures in the fissures, right? Transmural. Transmural involvement is seen in ulcerative colitis. Okay. Yeah, sorry, yes. Crohn's disease, not in ulcerative colitis. Crohn's disease, you see transmural involvement. Okay. Crypt abscess, where do you see? Crypt abscess, where do you see? Crypt abscess, let me clear. Crypt abscess is common in ulcerative colitis, guys. Crypt abscess, you see over here, crypt abscesses. Okay, very important. This can be asked in USMLE. Crypt abscesses are common in ulcerative colitis. Ulcerative colitis, okay. Granulomas are very common in Crohn's disease, remember. Okay, right. So these are the important what you call clinical features that will help you to differentiate or diagnose ulcerative colitis or a Crohn's disease. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.